All right, guys, welcome back to the PS Series. So today we are here showing you how to undervolt an RTX 3050 mobile on a laptop, on a gaming laptop, in order to increase your FPS, reduce your power consumption, and reduce your temperature and noise all at the same time. I have two presets for you, and then I will also, if you stick up until the end, show you how to do it tuned exactly for yourself. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are with the tutorial. Now for this, you will need Heaven Benchmark and MS Afterburner. You will find the links to both of the programs in the description down below. Now you wanna have the benchmark running and then open up MS Afterburner. Little disclaimer, I'm doing this on an HP Victus 16 gaming laptop, but this, this will work for every brand and every model. It's gonna work for your, your average MSI gaming laptop or your Acer Nitro, your Asus laptop, it's the same. Once you have opened up MS Afterburner with having benchmark running, again, this is a crucial step, guys. You wanna go over here on settings, right here, and then you wanna enable voltage control, voltage monitoring, and then hit apply, okay? Do that, and then come back here. At this point, you wanna go over here on curve editor, click it. This will open up your curve. Now, if you wait until the end, I will show you a bit why we are doing all this. But for now, let's get straight into the tutorial. We have two presets. The first preset is gonna be for efficiency. So the maximum power saving, the maximum temperature reduction, and the maximum noise reduction, while keeping the same initial performance, actually a bit better performance. So you wanna go over here on the core clock slider and bring it all the way down to minus 300 roughly, okay? Minus 300. Now, you wanna go over here on the 775 X axis, grab it, and bring it all the way up to 1700, okay? 1710, 1720, something along those lines, and then hit apply. There we go. Now our laptop will run at the static frequency of 775 millivolt for 1700 megahertz. And your undervolting is done. You can close it. If you wanna enable it to start with Windows, you gotta click it here. You gotta save your profile here. Hit apply, okay. Then you can go here and set it to start with Windows and start as an icon, okay. But in case you want a bit extra performance, Second profile, okay, so let's reset this one. And now let's do the same thing. Minus 300, right here. Then this time, grab the 800 millivolt voltage point. Now, depending on the laptop, you might use 800, you might use 825. How do you know? Well, try 800 first. If it crashes, you need 825. So, grab the 800 millivolt voltage point bring it all the way up to 1800, okay, instead of 1700, right there, 1800, hit apply, there we go, as you can see, we are now running at 1800 megahertz, and at 800 millivolts, this is going to give you a lot more performance than at stock, um, and it's going to reduce your temperature and power consumption still, as you can see, we are at 60 degrees right now, so it's really low, well, tutorial is over, Again, you can save the profile, make it start with Windows if you want to, okay. But in case you're still here and want to know a bit more about it, well, let's get into the actual tutorial, the proper one with everything explained. What we are doing is basically at stock, as you can see, the laptop is running at around 1700 megahertz, but under load due to the curve, voltage, frequency, and the power curve, it drops to around 1650, okay, in my laptop. This will vary depending on your laptop. What we wanna do is get the lowest possible voltage point. The lower the voltage, it means the lower the power consumption and temperature to make it run at the stock frequency, okay? This is for the efficiency profile. So in this case, again, if you go lower than 775, those are the idle states. So these will actually drop your memory clock. So the lowest you can go in any laptop is 775. You wanna grab it and you can set it to your frequency. If your stock frequency is lower, you can set it to lower. So let's say my stock frequency was 1600, then I would do minus 300, this, this is always minus 300. Then you grab the 775 and you bring it up to 1600, okay? This is gonna give you stock performance with less power consumption and stuff for your laptop. How do you tune it for maximum performance if you wanna spend a bit extra time? So in my experience, um, the three sweet spots for maximum performance are 800, 825 and 850 millivolt. Uh, so depending on how lucky you are, you might only need 800 or you might need 850. So 
how this works is the lower this one the better your temperature and noise but the higher this one so the higher the number you choose the more performance you get so for example let's set it to minus 300 if i grab the 850 millivolt voltage point and bring it all the way up to 1900 let's say and i hit apply this is going to give me my maximum possible performance because it's running at 1850 but if i keep up in this one let's say i go 930 it will crash at some point okay it will start to do weird things on the screen now i might have to go a bit higher as you can see it crashed so you want to just hit reset wait a bit for it to come back to normal and then try again and this is it this is how you properly tune your personal undervolt but i recommend for most people to just follow my settings my recommended profiles okay so this is it guys if it was helpful please drop a comment and a like you might want to drop a sub i do a lot of videos like this and i also do budget builds and how to get computers for cheap again do that and see you in the next one guys bye